Hey there, fellow developers. Today we're diving into an exciting node red flow that simulates sales data, displays it on a dashboard, stores it in a MongoDB database, and even generates an Excel report, all with a click of a button. Sounds interesting? Let's get started. Step 1. The Show Data button. The first node in our flow is a simple UI button labeled Show Data. When you click this button, it triggers the generation of random sales data for three product categories. Phones, laptops, tablets. Think of this button as a way to fetch real-time sales data, just like refreshing a dashboard in an e-commerce system. Step 2. Generating Sales Data now, we have three function nodes that generate random sales values. The phone sales node creates a random sales number and assigns it the topic, phones. The laptop sales node does the same but for laptops. And finally, the tablet sales node generates sales data for tablets. These function nodes are simulating live sales updates, as if they were coming from a real-time sales tracking system. Step 3. Displaying sales data. Once the sales data is generated, it flows into a pie chart node in the UI. This chart gives us a quick visual representation of how different products are performing. Imagine you're a sales manager, tracking which product is selling the most, right on your dashboard. Step 4. The Generate Excel Report button. Now, let's talk about the second UI button in our flow. It's labeled Generate Excel Report. When you click this, it does two things at the same time. First, it saves the sales data into MongoDB for long-term storage. Second, it generates an Excel report that can be downloaded. Think about how useful this is. Instead of manually exporting data every time, this automates the reporting process, just like how businesses generate monthly sales reports. Preparing data for storage and export. At this point, the flow reaches a function node called Prepare Excel and Save to DB. This node formats the sales data, adds a timestamp, and then sends it to two destinations. One MongoDB database, where it gets permanently stored, to Excel Generator, which creates a downloadable report. This function structures our sales data so it can be stored and retrieved later. Step 6. Storing data in MongoDB. Next, the MongoDB out node saves this data to a database called SalesDB. Each new sales entry gets stored in a collection named Sales Data. Why store data in MongoDB? It allows us to keep track of past sales. It makes future analytics possible. It enables scalability for multiple stores or branches. This is how real-world e-commerce platforms track and analyze sales trends over time. Tip 7. Generating an Excel Report The Excel Generator node creates an Excel file with all the sales data. The file gets saved. Think of this as a monthly sales report generator that can be shared with managers or stakeholders. Debugging and logging. Lastly, we have a debug node, which helps developers see what's happening at each step. Whenever the Generate Excel Report button is clicked, the debug panel logs the generated sales data. This makes it easy to verify that everything is working correctly. So, where can we use this system? Retail stores. Live sales tracking for different product categories. E-commerce platforms. See which items are performing well? Warehouse management, track stock levels dynamically, IoT and smart inventory, integrate with sensors for real-time inventory updates. And that's a wrap. We just explored how to generate, visualize, store, and export sales data using Node-RED and MongoDB. For more such videos, check out the description below. And yes, the complete Node-RED flow code is provided below, so you can try it yourself. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more awesome tech content. See you in the next one.